Well, I was sitting here at the store because I, I didn't have anything to do. I forgot the project I was gonna work on. I had it all, everything put together and I must have, the very last thing, I forgot to pick that up. I was gonna redo the tray that I bought at the thrift store, my last thrift haul, the little, the little one with the black handles. I decided to make that over and I thought I brought everything over here, including the stencil to cut or the pattern where I was gonna cut it on my cameo. And I walked off, forgot the tray. So I have these things here. I'm gonna make some more candy canes. So I decided, I need my scissors. I'm not gonna fiddle with my ends. I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces off of here to put on the ends of the candy cane. These are the ones you get at the Dollar Tree. I've done them before. I'm gonna do a little different on these. Decorate them a little different. Okay, I'm gonna put that down on the end like that. I'll go ahead and do this one up here because I'll get to the end and forget to do it. Oops. Get these little pieces off of there. Then I'm just going to wrap this around it. I'm going to start it at an angle. glue that little piece down there when I get finished. Glue strings everywhere. And I'm just going to wrap this on around the candy cane. I want to get me some more of these this year. Because I'm pretty much used up or getting ready to use up what I've had. Just an easy project to do when you want to make something and they make cute ornaments. It's glued down, not sticking up. I wanted to glue this end down right there. Okay, now I am going to take I have a piece of wire here and I cut that about 10 inches, rusty wire, cut it about 10 inches long. I'm going to, wait, first I want my bell. I got my rusty bells in. I didn't have any. I used up all the ones that I got in my Happy Mail. I had some larger ones, but I didn't have these smaller ones. I think these were called a three quarter inch. Got them off of Amazon. I'll link them below. They weren't bad in price. Okay, where do I want that to hit at? Let's see. Did I get that on wrong? Hmm. Maybe I want to go in from the front. 
yeah, that's what I want to do. Put it on from the front. Okay, now I want to wrap this around there. And then pull that down a little bit, probably about right in there. And I wrapped this way. I hope I cut my wire long enough. I want to leave some of it sticking out. I really didn't, did I? I could have cut it about two inches longer, maybe three, so I could have left some hanging out. I'm gonna redo it. It's not what I want. And I think I'll leave it on my Okay, let's redo that. I will save that for something else. This is wire that I got from Harbor Freight. I need to just put it in some vinegar and salt mixture and then set it out in the sun. Gotta figure out which way I'm going with this again. Okay, how did I want, yeah, like that. Now, I'm gonna start doing it now. sure that would be enough. I just wanted to leave some sticking up so you could tell the wire was on there. What good is it if you can't see it? sticking up. That way. I had done this one of these before, but I wrapped the wire around there and then I put this on and stuck the wire up. It just, it just fell and didn't stay in place. This one's not wanting to stay in place either. I can see why. Rewrap this down here, bring it up so it'll stay in place. There. Now it's not going to fall down. And I think I want to put a little greenery piece on there. pine cone or something. Let me go look and see what I have. Okay, I got a little piece of some snippet of the greenery. I'm going to stick that right there. hold that till it dries so it'll stay in place and I got some little berries I 
like right in there. I need another little berry right in here. I have my stem right here. Well, I can't get it. I have a garland type thing that's just probably about two foot long and it's just clustered with these. I think I bought them a long time ago and I knew when I got it, I would just be using bits and pieces of it. get my stick. Just to kind of twirl it a little bit. I think that's all I'm gonna do to it. Doesn't need a hanger or anything. Unless you want to put it on a peg rack or something or hang it off of something. But like on a tree, it would look cute just on a branch. Okay, that's it. That's done. Now I'm gonna make several more. Okay, I'm going to take a strip of this uh, coffee dyed. It was a uh, curtain, I think. Like a, the top of one, the Valance. But I'm going to take and go down the middle of this and cut this down a little bit to put on my candy cane. All right, I have that lace wrapped around that. And that's what I was going to do with the other one. And then I'd done this one earlier. This is the one that the uh, star kept falling down on, just going falling down. So I hot glued it up there. But I'd done this one different, but then I forgot to put this in there. So now I've got to decorate this one. All right, now I'm going to decorate this one up. All right, there's the last one that I done. I didn't put any greenery, anything on it, and I tried to pull some of the wire out which, where it would show and wired this on a little different, eh, not much different than I did that one. I did wrap it around. I left a little curly cue up here of the wire and no greenery. So there's three different candy canes. And I have three more candy canes left and I've got a rusty spring and I'm gonna do something with that. Okay, I have my uh, bed spring, my rusty bed spring, and I just took three of those uh, candy canes and wrapped this stripe material around them. And I'm gonna put these, just stick these in here. I don't know, I guess just any way I want to. And then I did take a rusty star and a bell and made a hook. Just wrap that, put that on there, made a little loop, push this down on there. And just going to put it on the front. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. I'm trying to figure out what I want to stick. It needs something in the middle. And I'm not sure if it needs to be tall. I don't know, can y'all see that? No, you really can't. <laughs> I need to get a different angle. Maybe that, or Maybe just a little piece. I am not sure. 
Okay, I'm gonna get the camera down off the tripod and kind of let you see what I'm looking at. Okay, there it is with just the short piece. Now I'm gonna stick the long piece in there and then see what it looks like. And there it is with the long piece. Or maybe without it, I don't know. Let me take taking it out. There it is without it. I kind of like it without anything. All right, guys, let me know which way you would put it with a long piece, short piece, or nothing. Well, I remembered to bring my tray with me today, and I've already removed the handles. This is the one that I got. That was, it was a dollar. So right now I'm just painting it, this area in here with, it's white, but I did add just a little bit of uh, brown in my paint because I did not bring my, uh, what is it, Waverly plaster. That's not such a bright white. All I had was an actual white. So I put just a touch of brown in it so it wouldn't be bright. Of course, I'll probably be waxing it anyway. But I'm gonna give this a coat and I'm just not really sure if I'm gonna do white all over or maybe do the sides and the handles in another color. I am not sure. So I'm gonna give this two coats so it'll get covered well. I did sand off the top of it because it had, I uh, can't remember what I had on it now. It had something stenciled on it and it was raised, so I sanded it down so it wouldn't show. And I'll be stenciling something else over it. Well, I got this painted with two coats, and I took it home last night and used my sander to kind of sand it back. You can see some of the wood, some of the green, and here's some red. And now I'm just going to, and I cut this out with my Cameo warm up at the old fashioned hot cocoa bar, marshmallows, whipped cream, peppermint, and peppermint sticks. I'm gonna start stenciling this in. I'm going to do this in black, this in red, this in black, and this in green. And I'm using a little lighter green than I did on my last sign because that last sign, the green didn't show up that well, almost blended in with looking black. It was so dark. But I'm not gonna have y'all watch me sit here and stencil this all in, because I'm just going to be pouncing with the makeup sponge. I'm filling this all in, and then I'll remove it, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna seal it. I'll come back and show you when I do that. I have it all stenciled and I'm going to have a really, really fine uh, sandpaper here and I'm going over it very carefully. I just don't want it to be stark and look perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna go over the black. And I'm gonna switch sides. of vinyl left there. Right. Now, I think what I'll do is put coat it with clear wax. All right, I have the De Dixie Bell clear wax, and I'm just gonna start putting that on there and coat it real good. 
and wipe it back some. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put, use brown wax or black wax. I'm thinking maybe black, since it has black lettering. But I definitely wanna make sure I get this coated good with the clear wax, especially where I'm gonna put the black wax. I want to coat this real good and I'll be back. Well, I've started, I have it all with the clear wax and I've started putting the black wax on. I'm using the Jolie Finish and Top Coat. I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to wipe it back. Just kind of take a little bit at a time. Okay, I like that. And I've already done the top of it up here. Around the edges down here little in the crevices there. Just get a little on the sides. I always like to come in on my corners. Just a little. Get some here. And on this back side, I think I'm gonna go over it with some uh, Waverly Antiquing Brown Wax back here, just to finish the back side up. and take the price tag of a dollar off from it. All right, that's about as much as I'm gonna do to this. I will put the handles back on and wax the back side of it and it's done.